What is going on guys? Welcome to the fifth video in image recognition and manipulation. Where we left off, we were just showing you guys some matplotlib and before that how to read the arrays. Now let's actually get into some numbers now and bring up some actual examples. So, um, let's take zero for example and if you open up and go into your directory and click on your, uh, go into like the images part and click on numbers, you should have just a whole bunch of numbers in here. And so this time, let's take uh, the yellow 0 0.4, so the Y 0 0.4. And that's what we're going to consider in this one. So let me bring this back over now. And so instead of images uh, dot, now we're actually images slash uh, numbers slash. And the file name here was Y 0 0.4 dot PNG. So now if we uh, save that, run that, and put that up, we see that, okay, that's what we have now. So um, this is obviously a blue zero with a yellow background. Subsequently, um, and actually let's go ahead and uh, we should probably, let's print out, print IAR. So let's print out that array real quick and let me bring that array over. And so now you can see that we have a different, a lot of different number values, right? There's no uh, blue here at all, but there's a pretty sizable amount of green and a lot of red and obviously full alpha. And uh, in this tutorial, we're not even going to be touching alpha, and later we're going to kick alpha out. But uh, just know that's probably always going to be 255 um, until you get into some more in-depth images. Uh, but we're not too worried about that right now. So, um, anyway, the numbers are a little bit different, but what if we looked at, and let me just close the image itself, and this time let's change the number, and let's do a basic zero, right? So we've got this zero, and all these, the 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and this y 0 0.5, they're all the exact same zero as 0 0.1, right? So let's bring up 0 0.1 and run that. Uh-oh. Oh, it's non-y. Non take out the y there. And now run 0 0.1. And now, obviously, same 0 that we had before, only it's black and white. And it's very simple. And we can look at this. And since we already recognized ourselves what uh, you know these are, so all of these are white dots. And then we've got, oh, these black dots. So four black pixels at the top, right? So one, two, three, four. Wow. We are actually going to probably turn into the matrix at the end of this. But anyways... Um, and a Neo. But, how would we know, but, and, and like, really in the idea of like character recognition, how would we know that both of these are zeros? And then what if we took it a step further and like really threw you guys for a loop and we use Y 0 0.5. So let's look at this one. Bring that one up. And now we're looking at this like, oh, okay, that's pretty hard on our eyeballs even right, to look at. <laughs> and so how do we actually work around this like whenever like the letters are diff or the, the characters or the letters are different colors and all that how will we recognize that it's the exact same one well typically right when you look at like an OCR like that that 0 0.5 for example is kind of hard for uh, a human's eyes to read but when it comes to a computer they're just looking at the patterns and they're generating colors but it's all numbers to them, and it's very much a different number, right? This yellow versus, like, this tan or whatever you want to call it is very much a different number, right? And so, like, let's, if we do bring it up again, um, we can even look here. Like, this is clearly different than those previously yellow numbers that we were looking at. So that's how we know. Um, and actually, so, yeah, like, this is our, um, our yellow, like, our background yellow is 255, 242, 0. And then our this yellow is 239, 228, 176. So none of those are, are similar. So this is a very different color. So um, so the computer doesn't really have that in, that problem, right? So um, the issue that computers are going to have usually at like optical recognition is not when the colors are very similar, but it's actually going to be when there's like a blur to the image. Um, or the uh, or, or like the numbers or letters like a blur will make it hard 
um, or like a deformed letter, right? You, like, just think about like the captcha, right? Like if you want to know what makes uh, image recognition hard or, or character recognition hard, look at a captcha and that, that's, those are the kinds of things that make it difficult, right? And sometimes those captures make it so difficult that like even your own eyeballs have a hard time reading it. Luckily though, um, my goal in this series is not to teach you guys how to defeat captures. Instead, it's, it is how to just read characters um, no matter what color they are. Because not all characters are going to have a pure white background. Not all characters are going to be pure black. So what do we do about that? Well, the way that we're going to do that is to do what's called thresholding, right? So you threshold the image and uh, you can you can kind of solve the problem. So the first, at least in our sense, we're only using two 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 different colors. Um, so all we have to do is really just make a single center line, and anything that's above a value is you know going to be white, right? Because the higher the numbers that the closer to white they are, the lower the numbers closer to black they are. So anyways, that's what we're going to be doing in the next video is thresholding, and um, so hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.